Sisters. You see, Phineas published an article accusing a local of loaning money to an orphan at highly unfair interest rates. I'm going to show you step by step how to create these animations you see on the screen in CapCut PC inspired by Magnets Media, but I'm going to add my own story about my childhood. It's all about when my father wanted to watch the news, and I wanted to watch anime stuff. But after all these years, I realized why my father watched the weather news so much. So I want to tell my mom what I found. First, I needed an image of a boy to sit in front of the camera. I found one on Google, but it wasn't free. So I asked my assistant, let's call her Scarlett Johansson. And she suggested the Leonardo AI site. I gave Leonardo my reference and typed in what I wanted. An old TV room, a boy sitting in front of the TV with a little depth. I chose a horizontal size and it gave me these. Then I downloaded one of them and separated the layers in Photoshop. But I deleted the TV screen because I want to add my own videos to it. And if you want the project files, feel free to check the first link in the description. Let's jump into CapCut. First, put the background layer on the first layer. Then, it's my turn to come into the shot. Now, the weather lady, or should I say my dad's crush. Dad, if you're watching this video, I'm sorry. Mom knows your secret now. Okay, the weather lady should go under the background layer. The newspaper should be on top of all layers. Make it a little smaller. You can cover the whole screen like magnets media, but it depends on your project what is changing behind the newspapers. Okay, I put it here. For animating, create keyframes only for position. Why? Because when you create keyframes only for position, then later you can make the newspaper bigger or smaller or rotate it without making any keyframes. First, Make a keyframe here, then go to the beginning of the layer and move it down out of the shot. Because first, my dad wants to take a look at the lady and make sure I didn't change the channel. Our animation should be like this. Then, copy and paste the second keyframe here to hold the newspaper at this time when my dad reads the news. Then move it a little down. Then right click on it. Show keyframe animation. Choose auto curve for all keyframes to make them smooth. But, our video should be longer, so duplicate the weather lady. Select all layers and increase duration, then move keyframes to the right side to get slower animation. Now let's replace the anime shot with the second video. Let's watch it. Before we start next part, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Alright, it's time for effects guys, so pay attention. For the TV footage we need to add DV texture, or you can use TV lines too. Reduce noise, set it to zero, and set texture at four or five. For the newspaper, before you add any effect on it, you should convert it to a compound clip. Then, add the play pendulum effect for hand movements and make it more realistic. Reduce twist, set strength on five, sharpen 10, speed 10. Let's watch it. Add hazy effect to add a little depth to the shot. But, Put it under the newspaper layer and set blur on 20 because I don't want to lose details on the background. Then add blink effect on top of all layers to make our shot more realistic. But reduce speed because having slow blink is better, and viewers can feel and see the blink better. Then move it to the right side and duplicate it. Then, Add vignette effect and set texture intensity on 50. For the newspaper, let's change the color a little. If we increase temperature, we get a warmer shot. Like Italian and Mexican film. Hey amigos, I know your country isn't yellow like this, but I'm sorry. You can increase it a little bit to get warm, or you can go to the blue side to make it blue. Move hue to the right side to get the correct skin tone. Increase sharpen and clarity a little bit. Add vignette to get shadow around the corners of the newspaper. For the background, make it warmer and more colorful to give it a nostalgic childhood feel. Set shadow on 5. 
You can change highlight and brightness too if you want to get a brighter shot. Set vignette at 4 or 5 because we added the vignette effect in the previous part. Finally, increase clarity to make the background cleaner and clear. For the TV light effect in the room, add black flash 2. In effect settings, set twist to 0, strength on 4. Changing size doesn't matter when twist is 0, speed on 10. For leveling up our shot, let's add edges glow. Set intensity on 13, and it'll be like this. If we take a look at Magnet's Media's shot, we can notice the edges have a slight curved shape. This effect is called Wide Lens. So, add the Wide Lens effect, but reduce the strength a bit because I don't want the edges to be very curved. In New York, expect partly cloudy skies tomorrow. So, let's send the video to my mom and see her reaction. And if you want to learn more videos like this on CapCut, just watch this playlist. And as always, stay creative. Sure.